ahead and get started. Um, I'd like to welcome you all to the National Letter of Intent signing for four of our young gentlemen here that have played football for us. Um, from left to right, we have Kyle Ringer, who is going to Malone. Simeon Lawrence, who is going to Finley. Orlando Scott, who is going to Malone. And Micah Price, who is going to Northwood. <laughs> and I would like to also congratulate all of the parents um, for raising fine young gentlemen, encouraging their dedication, their hard work. It's obviously paid off because they are going to continue their careers in college. So gentlemen, go ahead and pick up those pens and sign your letters to continue uh, your football work. careers. Come on, man. Y'all so big. I'm going to put a J. I'm going to just put a J. Bro, wait. The month, the month is three. Wait, no, wait. What month is it? Two. <laughs> Two. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. Sixteen. Before we do family pictures and all that, I'm going to turn it over to Marty, and he's going to ask you gentlemen some questions. Yeah, let me start these off. Kyle, um, tell me where you're going and how you came to that conclusion. Did you go to other schools, and et cetera? Um, well, I'm going to Malone University. Uh, I, I came to that decision, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 uh, I went to a couple other schools, um, got, got those offers, but really it, it was just the fact of where, where we were going. You know, we, we, we all, everybody that's coming in, you know, me, Orlando, all of our recruits, we're all already trying to become a family. You know what I'm saying? We, we're, we're talking pretty much every day, you know, trying to set up times to meet up, trying to trying to really bring the program back together to where it was years ago that we kind of fell off from. Nice. And uh, do you have a major? Uh, yeah, I plan to major in music education and mu and music <coughs> ministry. Their, their football program, they play at uh, the Hall of Fame Stadium. Um, last year, their record wasn't good. I ain't going to put it out there, but, uh, <laughs> but we're looking to improve um, and then as far as the school piece I mean there's there's a little over 2,000 students um, you know so so it's a small private school and and it's a Christian school so I mean that that was that was really a big impact on me and going there and tell me about their program in um, music education yeah oh um, that's I mean that's not one of their biggest programs but um, the way it's set up is like your first two years, you take your core classes. Um, your sophomore, junior, and senior year, they actually place you in internships uh, in in whatever your field is in. So, say someone was to major in in accounting, their sophomore year, they would be with an accountant, you know, learning learning the field while they're still in school. So, okay, great, congratulations. Thank you, Simeon. <laughs> Okay, Simeon, uh, what school did you pick, and how did you come to the school that you did? I chose uh, Finley Oilers. Uh, had about six options. Um, measured them down to about three. And I took my uh, uh, second visit to each of those schools, and then I got to Finley for my overnight, and uh, it really felt like home. And they say to go to the place where people welcome you in the most and uh, treat you like family, and that, that was Finley for sure, so I picked that one. And, and your major, I was talking to you about, oh, that. Um, journal about that. Journalism and broadcasting. I want to uh, get involved with the media a little bit, uh, get my voice out there, and uh, that's, that's the field for me. Um, how, many, how many other schools uh, did you have a choice for? And did the um, fact that you're near, near home, I mean, it, it's a waste, but it's not like you know going across the country. Did that have a... An impact on your yeah, decision. definitely. I could I could tell by a lot of stuff that my mom really wanted me to stay stay by home. You know, there was a school, there was a school, uh, Northwood University, four hours away. But they they were in the uh, they were big in the choosing, but you know, my mom wanted me to stay close, so that that influenced my decision a little bit more. But of course, the major is what uh, got me even more. Good job. Anyone want to clap for? Yeah.
I'm going to Malone University. I'm studying business and accounting. Uh, it just felt like home for real. You know, like Kyle said, trying to get a tight uh, group together and uh, talking every day. So that's why I chose Malone. What is their program like, their business program? Uh, they have a great business program, you know, get internships. So not really. I mean, every college has internships. So yeah, it's a good yeah. thing to do, though. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, and where do you uh, choose to go? And, and say your major again. Okay. And, and how how do you come to choose North? Um, I chose Northwood because I feel like their program is definitely like rising up. <laughs> And they had really, really nice facilities. When I went there, it just felt like home. I just didn't want to leave when I went there already. So it just felt like home. You know, my parents liked it. So it definitely felt like home. Okay, and what was your major again? Healthcare management. Um, well, tell me about that program. And what, what does that entail? Um, that entails, like, pretty much the medical field. It has a lot of jobs. So that's pretty much the manage, like the management field, the business side of the medical field. And Northwood actually just added it because there's such the high demand for it. So I thought that'd be a really nice program to get into, and I think I can get a job right away coming out of college. Very good. All right. Let's for how, how does it feel to actually have your education paid for? Is this something you guys? Is this something you guys? thought about when you started high school or started playing the sport that you play? Um, what, what does it feel like to It feels good. Not only uh, is it just the, the money involved with football, but it feels good to accomplish something this big at a young age. You know, and this goes for uh, anybody in this room, actually. If you find something that you're passionate about, um, if you pursue that, it's still going to open doors for you. And, you know, we love the game of football, so... Uh, we worked hard at it, and, and, and after a while, it's going to give you those opportunities. So the, uh, the money's amazing. It's a huge accomplishment, but um, we, have, we have more to do, of course, uh, in this sport. Yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's, it's something that, that you really dream about. You know what I'm saying? When you're, when you're young, you sit there and you tell yourself, oh, you know, I want to I wanna start in high school. I want to I wanna be big. Then I want to go to college. But it's like when you're actually living that, and you actually sit there and say, wow, like, I, I accomplished my goal. It, it, it really fulfills you on the inside to know that, that you said that you would do it and you actually did it. Any other guys? Let me see that. <laughs> yeah, like, me and Kyle, before, like, coming into the season we met, we both always told each other we wanted to make it out. No matter what happens, we just want to make it out. And it, it like, feels good to finally have that happen, you know. It just feels good. Yeah, and like you, you guys said, that this is like the beginning. Of yeah. life. All your moms and dads know that, so, but this is like the start. So congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, that's all for me.